Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon with me, Roblo. As you probably see from my channel, I haven't played this again in a couple of days now. And I'm actually looking forward to it. So let's go. <clears throat> I put a little team together here called the Scorn. Or the Scorned, sorry. I just put them together and then randomly gave me that Scorn thing, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to be very careful about what I give everybody. Because... A lot of things are great, like this is 30% uh, heals, but at the same time it's 20% stress damage. So, hmm, I don't actually know if I have anything that reduces stress damage. So I've got this, the worry stone that reduces stress damage, so maybe that'll be a good idea. It does reduce speed, um, but maybe that's just something we're going to have to live with. So we'll do that, we'll go there. And we'll reduce that, which reduces the stress damage again a little bit. Um, and then let's have a look at you. Do I have any class specific things for you? Uh, no, it seems I do not. Okay. Then, what I probably want to do is just increase your health maybe? What mission are we doing again? I can't remember. We're doing a mission in the ruins. So... Oh, no, I don't want a provision game. Sorry. I was busy with something else. So, if we're going to the ruins, we're probably going to go into a lot of... or run into a lot of bandits. Hmm. Let's go... Bleed and Blight Resist. That's fine. And then we'll go Bleed Resist. So you'll have a shit ton of Bleed Resist. Which is great and for you I'm thinking the 10% extra stress damage should be fine but that does lower your damage by 15% so if I could at least counter the 15% damage reduction I will be quite happy with that this is 5% accuracy but I want to give that to the helion I think do I have anything that's specific to you heals received actually that's great hmm can't get rid of that. I could make you very tanky. I could go heals received and then plus 15% HP. Hmm. Maybe we'll do that instead. Maybe I'll give you heals received and HP. And then for the Helion, we do have this, which is pretty cool. As long as we keep the torch above 75, which is what I am planning on doing. Uh, she gets minus stress damage and plus accuracy. Okay, so we'll do that. And then, what am I thinking? I think I'll just give her the warrior cap. Okay. So it's not the best, but uh, it should do. I'm planning on doing this mission because I would like the tenacity ring. It looks like a pretty cool ring. I mean, a minus 1% crit is not um, that bad if you have plus 5 dodge and plus 10% death blow resist. Okay. So let's go and provision, and we'll get this thing started. I would like just a couple of extra crests. I think a couple of extra crests will allow me to decrease the cost of um, my, what do you call it? Uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to slowly wane off how much food I take until I find save. It's a medium mission. I'll take three spades. I'll take two keys. Um, sure, we'll take two more anti-venoms. We don't have a lot of money. But at least this doesn't cost too much to stack up. Okay, and I'm going to take three bandages because I do have a cultist as a healer. Which never seems like a good idea. And then I'm going to take two stacks of torches. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should take one extra medical herb and maybe just a holy water. I'm going to do that. I'm going to stack up. And, man, this could backfire. But it could also mean... If we need any a medical, you know what? Chances of us needing a medical herb, very low. What I will do is I will take one holy water. If I run into something that requires holy water, we'll do it. I actually remembered to equip trinkets this time. My god. I just want to get better at the game. I want to make some money. And I just want to do well. Man. But at the same time, saying that, I have not found an antiquarian yet. For some reason, it's impossible. Oh, scouting right off the bat. That's amazing. Okay, so we've got a room battle right in the beginning. Um, 
I can't choose what I want to do. Because all these rooms will probably have things in them. Oh, shit. And I forgot. A lot of my guys have... Have... What is that thing called? Um... Well, she has kleptomania. Or... Plutomania. Mania for money. So if she thinks there may be money in there, she's gonna go for it. Are you fucking kidding me? A collector again. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say... I just fought a collector, like, last time, but I didn't. What I fought last time, um, I actually fought, hmm, the stun chance is pretty good. I think I'm going to go for that. I was actually playing my personal game a little bit, which I haven't done in a while. That's a good stun chance. Um, I can sacrificial stab, but that's not going to do anything against the collector. I'd like to do consistent damage against the collector. But that's not always the case, unfortunately. Um, hmm. Now the question. Iron Swan or Breakthrough? Breaking through is means he's just going to resummon everybody. I mean, honestly. But, uh... Let's see. We should be able to kill some. And we killed none of them. Shit. Okay. Uh, Plague Grenade? Sure. They're already stunned for this turn. So they might as well be plagued for this turn as well. And now, we can't do Iron Swan, but Breakthrough should hit him as well. Man, that minus dodge though. That minus dodge though. Let's go bleed. Let's just stack effects on him if we can. We'll use Breakthrough only if we really have to. He's still stunned, right? So he's not going to be able to summon anything this turn. And we can stack more bleed. Oh man, this is actually... Oh, didn't, th doesn't this call please? Oh no. I always get this wrong. It's just plus uh, damage against Eldritch. It doesn't actually cause bleed. I don't know why. I think I always confuse it with something else. Okay, collect call. So he's going to resummon his guys. I got to say, I'm a lot better at fighting this guy at least. Um, you're just always going to hew, unfortunately. Because that's the kind of battle that this is. Um... Oh, shit. Unfortunately, we can only hit the Collector. And he resisted anyway, so whatever. Breakthrough? No. We're going to try and stack the Bleeds. Come on. Don't resist. There we go. So he's going to take 6 damage on his next turn, which is pretty good. And I like having the Cultist in the third spot. I've, I wish I could have... Um, or I'll show you now. Hell has an ability. And Hell. I haven't used Hell in so long. But he has a, a, a cool ability. or well, not a cool ability, but um, a melee ability. Uh, this one, the incision. But I wish he could use it from the back, because I can't have both of them have their physical attack, which is unfortunate. Um, play grenade. He's got 16, he's taking 2. This could potentially add 4. Or we could go for the stun. I think I'm going to go for the stun. Let's try and control. Okay, well, that was... Not helpful at all. Come on, extra bleed. Okay, so he's taking at least four bleed now. He will have a chance, I think, to resummon. Oh no, he's gonna do headache. Oh no, shit. That's a buff. Uh, collect call. Yeah, I was gonna say he should have a chance to resummon, and seeing as there is a slot missing, he will do that. Um, man, I have bandages. But maybe, maybe I should just use field medicine. You know what? No. Let's use a bandage. And we'll go for the stun. If we can reduce damage as much as possible. Oh, fuck. The stun just seems so shit. I'm just going to go for the kill. There we go. And then you can get the hue, which get at least one kill. Man, look at that. I didn't know he had a corpse. I think normally I killed him first. Oh, excuse me. Something stuck in my throat there suddenly. Oh, man. All I've been eating the whole day is toast. It's probably not the best. It's been a long, uh, long weekend because obviously it's Easter. Recording this on Monday, you'll see it Tuesday. Ah, oh, yes. That's the best part about fighting this guy. Always good loot. Always good loot. Okay. Oh, I thought she would have... Oh, map inside. Come on, please. Map reveals everything, right? 
Oh no, map does not reveal everything. Why did I think a map reveals everything? I don't know. But yeah, it's been a long weekend. I haven't really done anything productive. Oh, the great thing about having Iron Swan now is taking out this asshole. Oh, come on. Is my speed really that bad? Man, I guess it is. Anyway. Iron Swan, you're gone. Don't want to take that stress damage, yo. And we'll get rid of you. Slowly, I guess. Uh, probably... How much life do you have? Oh, shit. It's not going to do enough. Unless... Unless this has the chance of doing two damage. No, it doesn't. Okay. What we're going to do is we... Ah. Oh. I was going to say we'll try and stun you. But apparently not. Okay. So who are we going to chop? Let's get rid of the guy who does bleed. Ah. Oh, fuck. That's fine. I don't mind. A little bit of damage. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know what's wrong now. I need to take a drink or something. But I got nothing nearby. Um. Well, I did want to use incision. But I'd rather just move. See, I can still do things from back here, so I don't mind these two guys changing around. Because all that means is that I don't have his sacrificial dagger. Um, okay. Breakthrough, no. If it bleeds and it just kills, which is great. I don't want to do a hue. I just want to do... There we go. I was going to say, I just want to kill one of these guys, like, straight up. Okay, now we've got incision. Which I think does do bleed. That's probably the one that I confused the whole time. Is sacrificial blade and incision. Um, okay, well this is kind of a shit situation now. You know what? I'm just going to move you back to your proper position. Because it doesn't really matter and I don't want to cause stress now. Okay, a whole bunch of heirlooms. Is it worth opening? Um, it looks slightly ajar. What can you use on a sarcophagus? Uh, I don't know. But there we go, hidden treasures. Maybe you can use something on it to make it better. I should actually just look this shit up. Like, I wanted to do... Um, okay, well, never mind. I was gonna say, this is probably trap. We should ignore it, but... Uh, there we go. Fooled me once, yes. Well, you're gonna keep getting fooled, because you're a fucking idiot. Okay, that's fine. Two spiders, yay, who cares. Um, oh yeah. This is the one bad part about having him at the back. But at the same time, having you at the back uh, would pretty much have the same consequence. Both these guys can't attack the front row. <laughs> oh, maybe that's a bad part about this party is I didn't actually look at their skills. But I didn't really have money to alter any of their skills, so whatever. Yeah, we resisted everything except Mark. And fight. Great, and we're blighted. Oh, you can just cure yourself of blight, that's fine. Um, I think a hue. There we go. Why not? Now you can't cure yourself of blight. But... Hmm. I'm wondering now. We don't have to go into this room, at least. <sighs> you know what? Fine, fine. I'm just gonna cure you of that. So we don't have to worry about it. Bookshelf, please don't be shit. There we go. I guess having nothing is considered not shit. Uh, we can skip this completely because I just have to do room battles. Okay, first spade gone. That's fine. I'm not really married to the idea of holding on to the spades. That shit needs to get used as quickly as possible. That's what it's here for. Uh, we don't know what's further in this room. There should be a trap here somewhere. There we go. Uh, disarm. Oh, I've got nobody who's good at disarming. Oh, actually, 80% is bad. There we go. And hunger. It's fine. We didn't bring as much food, but I also think we don't have to worry about that as much. Like, I I've been playing far too... Far too safe, I think, in certain cases. Like, not in my combat. My combat, I've been far too reckless. But in terms of, like, equipment and stuff, maybe I've been 
a little bit too safe. Oh, I thought they would probably get the kill. Um, we'll do the stun. Thank you. And, hmm. Do we just go for the kill? Let's go and have them attack as little as possible. That'd be great. This could not get the kill. So this, this could quite easily get the kill. So let's do that. Okay, so we're going to take Axe Blade. Which again, not bad. This guy's basically just a tank. Um, Plague is not really going to work against you, is it? No. You might as well attempt another stun, although it's highly unlikely. I just want to get rid of this guy. Let's get rid of this guy first before we get rid of the tanky guy. Now, as I say that, I can't attack you. So whatever. Like I said, this is a very bad composition. I've got guys who can only attack the back and guys who can only attack the front. So if we run into something truly shit, this could be bad. But I doubt that situation happening. I could have actually used the bleed thing, but the chance of him getting bled is very low. There we go. And he's still going to be in the same position anyway. So we might as well just try and stun him again. Now that he's got the debuff off. Okay, and then we want to heal. Give me the heal. Without the... Yeah, there we go. Without the bleed. Okay, and I must remember to use a fucking key this time. Ah, uh, I thought we were going to get the kill. Okay, let's see. This one does still do damage, so it should potentially do one damage and kill him. There we go. And we get an extra key, so we didn't actually need to bring a key. But such is life. Such is life. Um, okay, so I don't have space for busts, and I don't have space for onyx. Hmm. What do we get rid of? We dump the holy water like I thought I would. I'm going to take the money. We're going to prioritize money a little bit. And we're going to get rid of the herbal medicine. And we're going to take that. Unfortunately, that means I did waste some money coming in here. But, uh, oh well. This is why, as well, I think I'm over extending what I need to bring with me. Except for spades, man. I can always bring spades with me. But some of the other shit, I probably bring too much of. And because of that, I don't have space and I'm actually just wasting money. Because I think each one of, um, like, the holy water, for example, I think costs like 200 to bring. And I only gained, like, what? Ah, uh, well, I gained like 200 by dropping it. So I guess that's fine. Okay, let's go. Iron Swan. Potential one hit. There we go. Oh, that's good. That's what I like to see. Just one hitting enemies. It's amazing. Um, we could stun him. Chance of bleeding him is like impossible. Blighting him is quite likely actually. I thought they were resistant to blight, but they're not. Okay. Um, this probably won't kill him, but it will bring him into range. Of him just killing himself on the next turn. So now we don't actually have to worry about it. Let's go for you. Because you're an easy kill. And then. I think I need to do a heal. I don't think he's going to die in time for a healer to get a chance to actually heal. Uh, you can't really do anything useful. So just do a heal. That is actually. <laughs> actually a shitty. Like. Body composition to be honest. Not because of who they are, but because of the skills I chose. If I had just chosen slightly better skills, this would have been fine. Um, shit, I don't actually want you to die yet. I would like to get this heal off. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Can't I... I can't move back. Why can she not move back? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, fine. Um, you know what? We're going to cause... If it bleeds on you, shitty move, I know, but then at least we get the heal off. She's back at full health. Not taking chances, man. I'm not taking chances. I'm gonna play this carefully. I'm gonna play this well. Big heals, man. Big heals, too. It's amazing. 
And then we get the kill anyway because we're a bit faster than you. That's great. Uh, Houndmaster only. That is great because it. Oh man. That is actually a really good one. And I say that because I love the Houndmaster. And this has like zero negative effects. So what I want to do is let's just go oh man i can't even i can't even eat my way out of this situation i just i brought too much shit and it's a medium mission i haven't even used my fireplace yet shit i didn't actually need my fireplace in this one because there's like no combat oh my god although to be fair if we had gone down these side alleys we might have found a secret Okay, we're going to get rid of some food, and we're going to get rid of some torches, and I'm going to take both of these. And then, we're going to open the chest, and I can't even take all the money. Fuck. Um, okay. Bandages, their value coming out of this is 15 gold each, so they're worth worthless. And to be fair... I do have um, field medicine. So, I actually think I far overdid it with the antivenom and the bandages. Okay, note for self in future, if I bring a plague doctor, I don't need a million antivenoms and bandages. Okay, what have you learned? Stout. I think stout gives you extra HP, right? Oh no, plus 15%. Shit, look how bad you are. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe it. I can't even be mad. Okay, there we go. Good thing I didn't get rid of the shovel. As the light gains purchase, okay. Uh, there's nothing in here. We knew, knew that already. Man. I'm getting my wish. I'm getting quite a bit of money here. But at the same time, I lost quite a bit of money coming into this. Okay. This is a bit shit now, but again, it's fine, because you are actually quite functional from back here. We're gonna go, this is the stun right here, I'm gonna stun those two, and we'll get an iron swan, oh shit, I really thought that would kill. But it's fine, at least he's still stunned. <clears throat> and we'll use your ability there. That means we can kill them quite easily. Seeing as you're not where you're supposed to be, you're going to spend your moves to get where you should be, rather than having other people move. Although, to be fair, now it might be good to have our cultists move. And then... No, we want to blight them. With a serious blight, because he'll definitely die now. Um, okay, Blosh, you moved first, so unfortunately we couldn't do what I wanted to. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, we don't need to attack you. So we'll attack one of you. Oh my god, a crit, yes. And he didn't even need the stress relief. I would prefer stress relief on you. Uh, you're going to die anyway, so we'll just kill you. And now we just wait for you to die. Or we'll probably get a turn to kill you. No, we won't. Never mind. Uh, more keys. Great. All these keys and no secret doors. I'm going to skip that bookshelf. Just because you never know, man. You never know at bookshelves. I'm wondering if I should actually just camp. Just to make sure that nobody has any stress coming out of this. Especially now, seeing as he just went to... 50% or well 25% stress hmm okay I'm gonna start off the stun which is great and that stun is so good especially considering the assholes at the back always the guys who do the okay so that's five damage uh, it's not so bad um, iron swan or it bleeds I'm going to try and iron swan the back guy again. 
I know it's probably a waste of the stun doing it this way. We could have done more damage to the front guys. All well, the back guys are stunned. I just, I want to avoid stress damage. Stress damage is hard to get rid of. Heals are a little bit easier to do. Especially this. Look at this. He can heal himself. I don't even need to worry. Although I don't think that's what we should do. It is a possibility. And I got rid of all the bandages. Great. But we got an 18 hit. So, who cares? Exposed to a killing okay, you need a heal. We'll get you sorted out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll get you sorted out. Okay. Healing round. We're gonna sort out your extra four damage you would have taken. And hmm. I would like to hew just to get rid of this corpse. That puts you in better range. So there you go. Oh fuck. Short by two damage. Damn it. Okay, well, we want to heal. Let's stick to the plan. Even if the plan fucking results in two damage healed. <laughs> oh my god, that heal was so bad. What the shit? What the shit, Fennel? I forgot your name. It's because they got such random names, man. Um, can't do much. So you're just going to heal. I should probably just swap. In incision should have been swapped with... Um, I could have just done it between combat at some point as well. I don't know. I'm so dumb. I could have just swapped incision with something else. There we go. We're just gonna ignore the heal now. Just get the battle over with. I'm gonna take all of that shit. And we're gonna continue adventuring. Why? Because I wanna camp to reduce everybody's stress. Let's see, can we actually no, I can't buy new ones here. I thought he might have had something else. Uh, that we could have just swapped out. Uh, let's go, Penel. Have a look at this chest. Tell me what it's all about. Um, sure. That's great. And we can't take the money. The food is ultimately worthless. The anti-venom is worth about 75. So switching out the gold... The anti-venom now is not too bad. Okay, what I want to do as well... Scouting, okay. Tell me if there's treasure in this last room. Okay, there's no treasure in the last room. Okay, in that case... I'm going to camp just to try and get rid of the stress and stuff. Before we leave. Because what that means for me... Is it means it makes my life a little bit cheaper on the outside. Okay. Can I prevent nighttime ambush? Prevent nighttime ambush. I cannot. So we may actually get ambushed after this. <laughs> um, shit. Okay. Let's reduce your stress. Uh, minus stress damage. We'll reduce your stress again. You're on 6 stress, you're on 11 stress. I couldn't even care less at this point. Okay. One companion, uh, one companion heals 50%, uh, and heals received, so we'll do that in case we get attacked in the night. Uh, all companions increase stress, no, one companion plus damage. Not really that helpful. Um, you could take damage and everybody could get reduced stress, 50% chance. So let's try that. All that happened was you took a bit of damage, which is not that bad. Okay, and then I don't have anything left except that, which is not great. So let's rest up. Let's see if we get attacked in the night right before the quest ends. Nope, and there we go. Stress reduced, and we're over. More bones return to rest. Okay, so how much money do we think? About 9,000? I think about 9,000. Oh, more than 9,000. Okay. About 11,000. So we're doing well on the money again. So we can upgrade some people's equipment. I can also reduce the cost of upgrading equipment. Okay, let's have a look here. Uh, Bosch is now level 3. And we have picked up a million diseases. Why do I keep picking up diseases? I don't understand. I don't understand the disease. 
She's also obsessed with cleanliness. Uh, minus 20% stress damage in the cove. Okay, so I think as long as we cure these diseases, we should be alright. Hell has a lot of things wrong with him, unfortunately. I'm wondering if I shouldn't just get rid of him. Can you Maybe I should. The walls between the uh, let's have a look at everybody's sort by stress. Okay, Reynard is still very stressed, and I've got a couple of people who still have diseases. And I'm at that point, is like, is it really worth keeping them? Hmm. I don't know. Do we get an antiquarian yet? We do not. We can increase our chance of getting an antiquarian. Or... We can decrease... Oh, we can increase... Our weaponsmithing. Hmm. I say that, but we never have enough money. But it's something I should do. Especially considering we're going up. Okay. You know what? Let's do it. We'll take the increased weapons and we'll see if we spend some more money just going forward. Oh man, my nose is just suddenly blocked. It's been blocked for like five minutes now. I don't know why. My throat and my nose, everything has just decided to work against me today. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you like my videos, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I don't know if you would have heard that, but I just cracked my back and it felt amazing. Ugh. And until next time, cheers guys.